a to the 5 plus a squared equal to 36. And a is a real number. We want to find all possible values of a. If we try to replace a with small numbers like 0, positive, negative 1, positive 2, we will see a. If a equal to, let's check, 0 won't work because 0 to the 5 plus 0 squared is 0. 1 doesn't work because left hand side will be 2. Negative 1 doesn't work because left hand side will be 0, 2. If you replace 2, so 2 to the 5 plus 2 squared. 2 to the 5 is 32, 2 squared is 4, it is 36, and it works. So A2 is one answer. Now, one way is to factorize this term and use that a2 is root. So we can say a to the 5 plus a squared. If we take 36 to left hand side, then minus 36 equal to 0. And you can factor from a minus 2. It will be a minus 2 times a to the 4 for creating a5. Minus 2a4, then you place plus 2a cubed. Then we don't have a4 minus 4a cubed. Then you place plus 4a squared minus 8a squared. Then you place 9a to have a squared. And minus 18a, then we place plus 18. Then it will be minus 36 equal to 0. And now you conclude a equal to is one part. Now we should focus on this function a to 4 plus 2a cubed plus 4a squared plus 9a plus 18 equal to 0. Now we can focus on this polynomial. Now from this part I will tell you two solutions. I want to prove that the only answer is a2 but how I can say this? Let me tell you solution number one. I want to prove this part is always positive. Uh, in solution number one, at first, I should tell you some famous identities. For example, one of them is that and basic x plus y squared is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now, I will see that for this part and this part, if I place a squared plus a cubed, then I have a, sorry, to the squared, then I have a to the 4 plus 2a cubed plus a squared. So I... This part is okay, this part is okay, but I have a squared. So the things that are left, 3a squared plus 9a plus 18 equal to 0. Now, here in this part, I factor from 3. I say if I factor from 3, it will be a squared plus 3a plus 6 equal to 0. Now for this part, a squared plus 3a plus 6, it will be a plus 3 over 2 squared. This part will be okay. This part will be okay, but we have 9 over 4. So I should subtract 9 over 4 plus 6. And if we calculate, it will be a plus 3 over 2 squared plus 4 minus 9 plus 24. It will be 24 minus 9, which will be 15. So it will be a plus 3 over 2 squared plus 15 over 4. Now, if I write all these things, we have a squared plus a squared. Let's write a new page. a squared plus a squared plus 3 times. Inside this part, we have this. It is this. So plus 3 times a plus 3 over 2 squared plus 15 over 4. Equal to 0. So we know this part is at least 0. This part is at least 0 because we are working in real numbers. This part is greater than 0. So it is not possible. It will be always positive. It was solution number 1. Now, let's focus on solution number 2. In solution number 2, we say a to the 5 plus a squared equal to 36. Now, 
I take all things to left hand side and I say okay a to the 5 plus a squared minus 36 and I consider it is a function f of a so okay we draw this the diagram x axis y axis it is f of a it is a and now I want to see in what part f of a is increasing in what part it is decreasing so if you calculate f prime a it will be 5a to the 4 plus 2a so it will be a times 5a cubed plus 2 now we know in a2 we have 0 if you replace a with 2 f of a will be 0 and if a is positive it is increasing so it is increasing now let's see up to what part it is increasing and also we know that if a is 0 it will be negative 36 so if we continue it will be something like this negative 36 now if a is negative if a is negative we want to see 5a cubed plus 2 in what case it is negative 5a cubed plus 2 we want to see in what case it is positive in one case it is negative so it is positive if a cubed is greater than negative 2 over 5 you take this and divide by 5 and then we can say a is greater than cube root of negative 2 over 5 so we should consider for example we know it is 2 this part it is 1 you should draw it is approximate figure negative 2 over 5 cubed so when a is between this number a is greater than this this part will be positive this part will be negative so it is negative so it is decreasing in this part it is decreasing and so we understand it is decre decreasing means here so in this point f of a will be what it is a number between 0 and uh, sorry it is negative 1 between 0 and negative 1 so this a will be around negative 36 it, it won't be positive because these two numbers will be small and negative 36 so it goes up to some number here again before this when a is less than this number this part will be negative this part negative positive so it will be increasing so the diagram will be something like this okay so if i want to draw the diagram so you say a and negative 2 5 cube root 0 and it is a 5a cubed plus 2 5a cubed plus 2 we know in 0 it is 0 in this part if we want to draw it diagram let me show answer oh, this part this part this so 5a cubed here is 0 before that it is negative after that positive and if you consider f prime a which is positive product of them negative negative will be positive negative positive will be negative positive positive will be positive and between them there are negative a so here it is increasing this part this part is decreasing up to 0 0.0 and after that this part it is increasing again so and also at this point if you find f of a will be negative so the only answer is 2 and we found 2 in the beginning of the solution and we proved we don't have any other solution also in solution number one we've proved with other way that a equal to 2 is the only answer of this problem and let me write a homework for you it is a5 plus a2 our homework is a6 plus a equal to 60 or let me tell you a better things suppose it is 2 okay and solve it in real numbers and comment your answers comment your answer and prove if you for example say we have only one answer to answer prove why it is our only answer comment your answers right below this video and if you want to learn more uh, how to work with equations that are useful in Olympiad math exams and other math exams. If you want to learn them, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. Thanks. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye.